In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best volume indicator that I found on TradingView. It's very helpful in trading because it gives more details about volume rather than just blunt data on net volume in a time period. For adding this indicator, here we click on indicators and we search volume composition. This one, which is written by someone named Quantify Tools. To have all the information clearly, we need to wide the indicator panel a little bit more. And I recommend you to have this indicator on another tab or another chart window so you can have a better view of the price action. If you work like this, the view of the price chart not good and difficult for analyzing. All right, as you can see, we have similar volume bars here in this indicator, but you can see we have different colors and there are also some shapes and numbers that each of these has a meaning and gives us some information on what happened in that time period. The green gray part of the bar shows total volume, net sum of all volume in this period, which is including buy volume, sell volume, and passive and active volume. This is just an ordinary volume that you're familiar with. But here, for each bar, we have more information on what happened in this period. Were the buyers dominant in that time period or the sellers? Here, the middle part of the bar, which can be either dark green or dark red, it shows dominating volume, actually dominating passive volume. I'll explain later what passive volume is when it's dark green this uh, level shows dominating passive buy volume and when it's dark red this level shows dominating passive sell volume and then here lower part of the bars which can be either light green or light red it shows dominating active volume when it's light green this level shows dominating active buy volume and when it's light red it shows dominating active sell volume now you may wonder what are exactly passive volume and active volume and where do these informations come from to calculate the dominating buy and sell volume this indicator uses the ups and down movements of the lower time frame for example by default when your time frame is 30 minutes or lower it uses one minute or when it's between 30 minutes and three hours it uses five minutes and so on as you can see you can also change these settings and you must pay attention that the lower the time frame the more precision you get but with the cost of less historical data and slower loading time. All right, now that you know where these information come from, let me explain the dominating buy and sell volume. When we have upside movement of the price and this is happening with volume higher than the previous bar volume, it's an active buy volume. But when for the upside movement of the price, we have volume lower than previous bar volume, it's a passive buy volume. So it should be clear to you that having a larger proportion of active volume, in other words, more dominant active volume in a time period, while the price increased in that time period is preferred. We have the same for dominating sell volume. When we have downside movement of the price and this is happening with volume higher than the previous bar volume, it's an active sell volume. But for the downside movement of the price, when we have volume lower than the previous bar volume, it's a passive sell volume. Similarly here, having more dominant active volume while the price decreased in that time period is preferred. All right, uh, here we have a moving average line which by default is a 20 period moving average and it helps us to identify periods that have total volume higher than the average or lower than the average. Also, sometimes we have some small scores on the bars, as you can see, which shows when the passive dominating volume exceeds the threshold, which by default is 70% of the total volume. So when passive dominating volume exceeds 70% of total volume, the score appears. The percentage of passive dominating volume is also shown here below the bar. So these numbers that you see below each bar are actually passive dominating volume as percentage of total volume. And in the next line, these numbers show dominating active volume as percentage of the total active volume. And sometimes we have small triangles below them, which shows that it exceeded the threshold, which is 70% by default. So when the triangles appear, they show that the dominant active volume 
is greater than 70% of the total active volume. As you can see, this indicator is providing many information about what is going on behind the scene, not just the amount of volume in a time period. By the help of this indicator, you can have a deep view into the volume to find out if the buying volume was dominant or selling volume. And you can also evaluate the passive or active volume in that time period in relation to each other and total volume to find out how strong they are that they can help you to measure the interest of the market and the movement of the price that you see on the chart. In a separate video, I will teach you how you can use this indicator in conjunction with other indicators as a trading strategy for discovering good opportunities in the market for entering a trade. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.